this love that I have, the world didn't give it to me. Oh, this love that I have, the world didn't give it to me. Oh, this love that I have, the world didn't give it to me. The world didn't give it, the world didn't take it away. Oh, this peace that I got, the world didn't give it to me. Oh, this peace that I got.
back over to the wall. I'm glad I've always liked to go to him and he can call him. He's saying, I've always liked to go back to the wall. Thank the Lord. He don't learn to tell everybody and all this and that, right? He just solves the problem and gives the answer. Moves his hand and hair and he sees fit that he needs to move. And I'm glad he's that way. But I tell him, I say, God, I'm glad that there's nothing that scares y'all. Nothing that's too big because he's bigger and more powerful than anything. Right. And I'm glad of that. Yes. I'm glad of that tonight. Yeah. Good morning, God. I'm so glad I, I'm born again on my way to heaven. The journey's getting sweeter every day. Why is it getting sweeter? Because I'm getting closer to home. Right? Getting closer to home. Don't regret a mile. Don't regret nothing that I've done. Lord. Only thing that I, I would take, maybe do, different, do a little bit more. Do a little more. I'm not, not a bit regret of anything I've ever done. Lord. Any prayer I've ever prayed, I don't regret it. Any time I've ever passed it, don't regret it, don't regret that. But I've done it for you. Just let it draw closer to it. And I guess a little uh, that very familiar scripture got on her heart over in John 11 chapter. The first verse. Probably read most of the chapter here. A little bit of reading. Wonderful story. And that's in my opinion. Been studying on this, meditating on it for a few days now. I, I thought I'd read the story and heard it preached, and, and Lord let us preach it many different times, different places. It seems like every time I go back and read it, he, he give me something else. Yeah. Find something else that the scripture wanted to let me know or tell me. And I've always wanted a mind and a heart to open to learn it from the Lord. Right. Always want to learn. Give them more wisdom and knowledge of the word and the ways of God. Where's the word of God? <laughs> now a certain man was sick, named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary, and her sister Park. It was that Mary which was one of them, for Lord was ordered and wiped his feet with her heart, and his brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, whom thou lovest is sick. Yes. He loved Lazarus. He loved him. When Jesus heard that, he said, The sickness, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. When I say, preacher, he died. Jesus said it wasn't after that. No. Right. Uh, he told me that we really don't die, you know. The children of God, they just want to sleep and they cross on you. Right. They just want to sleep and they cross on you. Absolutely, amen. Heart might quit beating, lungs might quit breathing air and all, but we really don't die. We just go to sleep. Amen. Amen. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus when he had heard therefore that he was sick, he alone two days still in the same place where he was. Might take us a little time. All right, brother. Now, best I can read here, Mark, that was his friend. Why Lazarus was his friend. You think, brother Lord, if they're sick, they want us to come, we go on right there, you know, Lord, have our friend, we love him. But he stayed there two more days. Right. Praise the Lord, man. Lord, have your will. He don't know what he would do. Right. Yeah. Don't know what he would do. He still had fame, he had to do. Right.
They wanted Lazarus to be healed. They didn't want him back. But, now, but God wanted him to pass. And then raise him back again. Amen. I read the scripture before. This and I told him, I said, baby, now just my painting. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have any pain. No matter what got on our heart way before it. He could have went down there and healed him, and maybe it would have really touched somebody's heart for him to see him healed. But I told him, yes, he maybe somewhere in the crowd, somewhere they needed to see a little bit greater something than just the healing. Maybe they needed to see the dead man drop back to life. Right. God is not a perfect man. No matter the situation, he got a perfect man. Right. Amen. Then after that, he said to his disciples, let us go into Judea again. The disciples said to him, Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee and go as thou thither again. Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If he may walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of this world. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth, because there is no light in him. He's not talking about just going outside in the dark. Right. These things said he, and after that he said unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth. But I go that I may wake him out of sleep. Now listen, it never said that no word that anybody said anything to him, the other said that he died. But he said he's sleeping. He know right? He's already know. Right. Right. Already know he was going to wake him when he died and he told him he was sick. Right. But I'm going to go wake him out of his sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Yeah. How be it, Jesus spake of his death, but they thought that he had spoken of taking a rest in sleep. Then Jesus said, this said Jesus unto them, plainly, Lazarus is dead. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, to the intent you may believe, nevertheless, let us go unto him. Yes. Yes. Let us go on. Then said Thomas, which is called Didymus, to his fellow disciples, let us also go, that we may die with him. Then when Jesus came, he found that he lay in the grave four days already. Now Bethany was nigh unto Jerusalem, about fifteen furlongs off, and many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him, but Mary sat still in the house. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. She believed not only that he would have healed him right there. She had that much faith. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Yes. Yes. Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Come on now. She done told him, Lord, whatever you ask God, He's going to do it for you. Right. Anything you ask Him, I know He's going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Martha saith unto Him, I know that He shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Happy Lord. Listen to what the Lord told him. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection Amen. and the life. The Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, oh, yet shall he live. Yes. Lord, I know that he's going to raise on the resurrection at the last day. She wasn't perceiving in her mind all that she was talking to the resurrection. Right. She wasn't perceiving in her heart you know, that she was talking to the giver of life. Right there, he had left the Father for his life, and he would give it right back to right. you. She didn't understand. Most of us that way today. Somebody died in the Lord, we wouldn't be thinking about it. The Lord lays it on back. Whosoever believeth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this. She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. When she had said 
so sad she went her way and called Mary and her sister secretly. Said the master is kind and calling for me. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came on the hill. Now Jesus was not yet coming to the town, but was but was in that place where Martha met him. The Jews then which were with her in the house and comforted her when they saw her. But she rose up hastily and went out, followed her saying, She goeth into the grave to weep there. We get now. Then. then when Mary was come, where Jesus went and saw him, she fell out his feet, said unto him, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. I would have loved to have been there. Would have loved to have been there waiting here that ain't wrong in the spirit. What oh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this is what we've done that day. We're probably about killed most of us today. Yeah. 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 Probably would have killed most of us. That ain't picking in the door. Right, oh, God. Oh, God. And said, Where have you laid him? They said unto him, Lord, turn and see. Sort of verse in the Bible, Jesus spoke. Then said the Jews, Behold now how he loved him. His heart was broke, he was troubled. Some of them said, Could not this man which opened the blind eyes of the blind have come that even this man should have not died? Jesus therefore again groaning in himself, coming to the grave. And it was it was a cave, a stone lay upon it. Now listen. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said to the dear Lord, By this time he stinketh, for he hath been dead four days. Still about. Still about. Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And I knew that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he that had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with great claws, and his face was bound about with the napkin. Jesus said unto him, Loose him. Hey, ladies, Did you hear about that saying back? He said, Get that stone out of the way. Right. And he could have spoke to that stone and that stone would have moved. Right. I believe that with all my heart. He said, That stone could have gone out of the way. Yes. Yeah, he told me, he said, Blow that stone out of the way. They was getting ready to see the glory of God. And a lot of people that want to buy it and say, Lazarus, because everybody in the tomb around would have come out of the ground if he had it. But he said, Lazarus, come forth. And he said, he don't take his bound. But he came forth. Still look, still bound up. Still about to be in the but he came forth. Right. Tell me like he floated out there. I don't know. He couldn't walk but he was bound up. But he said, Lucy. And let it go. No doubt that spirit got on him. And floated him out to the world. Right, right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Some of them once they could not, the man that opened the eyes of the blind, couldn't he have prayed for this man? And God would feel that he wouldn't have even died in the first place. No. That's not what the will of God. Right. No. There's a lot of times we we'll say, now what? I wish you would have done movement in this. It would have been a great thing. Come on. He got right. something greater in store. Yeah. Right. He got something greater in store. Yeah. Come on. He didn't just have a healing, he had a raising of the day. Yeah. They said, Lord, he stinketh by now. He's been in there already for four days. Already been in there for four days, Lord. Yeah. He doesn't know what I have in the direction. And the life. And the life. He might be sleeping. But I'm going to wake him up. 
Do you love Him tonight? And if you do, then everything will work out to you. Yes. Come on now. Yeah. You might fall down sick with some kind of sickness, tell it. But if you love the Lord, He'll work out to you.
But even though things come and he lets things come, that's why they come, but they know he lets them. The devil can't do things that God don't allow him to do. That lets them know that he loves us enough for the stable in the hard times. When things are looking bad, they, they're not bad, but they look bad. They're not bad, but they look that way. Right. Through the fleshly eyes. Come on. But if we can get in the spirit, we can see something good on the other side. Ain't you glad you saved and I said? Ain't you glad you saved and I said? Every time that woman opens her mouth, I can feel they get down in the heart. She begins to say, God, I said, Oh, I'll have mercy. That woman got that in her mind. Right. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm so glad I'm born again. And I'm on my way home. Right, brother. But the woman said the other night, son, I'm in paradise, son, I'm in heaven, I'm in home. That's my home. Right. Yeah. This is just a place I'm here for a little while. I'm still here to die. Just to hear the, uh, maybe I'll tell them sometime, I said, well, I feel like a stranger down here. Good. I don't fit in here, right? I really don't. Children of the God, don't fit in here. Right. We start getting to where we fit in, there's something wrong. We're going to do some changes. Come on. Yeah. I prayed, I said, Lord, help me to feel like that stranger here. I don't want to feel like I belong. I want to feel like I'm wrong. I want to feel like I'm wrong. It'll be gone. I am trying to get home. I'm trying to get home. You're trying to get home. You all got home. Good morning, Lord. I'm preaching to somebody. Yes, you are. Praise the soul. But I believe with all my heart if he'd have known that he had to die for somebody to get help, he would have been willing to die. Yeah. I believe that, man. I believe that. What are we willing to do? What are we willing to endure to show the glory of God? Lord, I don't want to face pain. If we don't face pain, how are we going to know that God can move? Yeah. If I never was sick, not only did he heal me, how would I know that he can heal? I can hear somebody else have a bad, but I'm just taking him for their word. Yeah. Not, and nothing wrong with that. Not a thing. Not a thing wrong with that. But I like having them experiences for myself. For myself. That I can say, now devil, you listen. I was there. I was the one that it happened to, and God can't do it. Come on. If I never faced the valley, I'd probably be off the hill. Right, if I never climbed any mountain, I'd probably be off the hill. Come on. If I was always shouting, I wouldn't appreciate the shout. I was always shouting. Come on. If I heard the snakes ever got came up, I'd say, well, let me do something else. And I still want to do something else other than just that. Don't get me wrong. I still want to do other things. But just because you're in the valley, ain't got the wrong way to do the valley. There's a real in the valley. His name is going to be in the valley. If there's something wrong with you in the valley, you just let me down in there. Come on, man. Yeah. Would it be there, God, if I didn't make it wrong with it? Would he be there, man? Mm -hmm. yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. When you put the in the Lord, you know where he's going to lead us sometimes. He's going to lead us into the valleys. He's going to lead us up out of the big steep high mountain. Yeah. He's going to lead us out of the river. Yeah. I'm trying to help you. Yes. We're all time flying high, we don't ever face nothing. There's a good chance we're not following the Lord. Yeah. I don't ever get this. I don't ever get tired. Even Jesus got tired. Right, yeah, Even yeah. Jesus got led into the wilderness and tried. We're not about him. We're not about him. Yeah. 
somebody? Thank you. 